Greetings everyone and welcome back to the Thousand Week Like Mod. I'm your host, Mr. Mokolova, or Hungarian Mr. Mokolova, or Hungarian Mokolova, but right now we have a Romanian Civil War. If you like and read about this, go right ahead, but it's a moderate led by King Michael and the Legionnaires, uh, led by Horia Sima, uh, kind of killing each other. Another nation implodes, and now apparently, off screen, these guys had a little bit of a coup, and now Mikhail is here, Mihai the first. And now they're fighting Horia Sima. So, you guys, I really don't like Romanian right now. Romania's. Romania's or Romania? Hmm. Romanians are cool, I guess. Maybe. But, regardless, Holthi's triumph. Through hardship and turbulent times, Miklos Holthi has proven himself to be a capable leader of Hungary. Now, with the nation rallying behind his back, he has clearly reached the peak of his popularity. As the Admiral greeted the brave troops in Budapest, each, they each proclaimed themselves to be the soldiers of Miklos Holthi. Following this, thousands of onlookers cheered, yelling the phrase, We are soldiers of Admiral Holthi in ways. The Admiral's finest hour. Yes, he was an Admiral. A soldier? Uh, actually, there was one comment from yesterday saying that we should go with the, a, a soldier of Miklos Holthi. Well... Apparently, that's been unlocked. Even though I'm trying to go as radical as possible, but you know what? Qu oh, quality of... Uh, it's not ongoing. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, to the person that wanted this, I guess we're going down that way. But there's an pl ongoing political shift. Um, Without that, we're getting a lot more political power. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. I like Romania killing itself. But we can't send divisions, which is totally okay since... Well, changing of the guard. Look at that. We need a lot more equipment. Despite the people's love for Admiral Holthi, his biggest enemy, his age has taken its toll on the Admiral's health. Seeing his duty as completed, Mikhail Holthi has resigned, stepping down from the position of regent. With this, the deputy regent, Isvan Holthi, his son, has taken control of the government. Groomed to one day replace his father as a nation's leader, having served as a fighter pilot, and soon as a commander of the Hungarian Air Force. Isvan is a popular figure favored by both the liberals and the monarchists. Many are eager to greet their new leader, as the old Holthi finally receives his deserved retirement. A new face for New Hungary. We complete the focus. Glorious retirement. Istvan. All eyes on the new Holthi. Oh, okay. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. All right, then. So... Say, so the person who said that, we want to go down that way. Okay. They're changing direction. I think to go down this way, actually... We have to lose the war against Romania. I don't know exactly how you get the different paths in Thousand Week Reich. Especially compared to TNO, but like, for Thousand Week Reich, I have no idea. But, I guess, uh, we're starting the royal debate, I suppose. The question of the Hungarian crown was left unanswered during Miklos Horthy's reign. Now, with Lisa Von Horthy in charge, it's now finally time to restart the debates. Oh boy. Now we can go to war economy soon, hopefully that'd be really nice. I'm still trying to build up more civilian factories and roads and all that good stuff too. So... And what are we missing? Support equipment. Oh, also, I did make a garrison division here. So these guys are putting down suppression already in. Right here. Serbian Chechnik movement. But we got a lot of comments to go through, everyone. Quite a few comments, and we're just doing that, which is nice. Research is coming along very nicely. Uh, we'll probably grab encryption next. Thank you. As well as what? Uh, we're still doing that. That's good. Artillery, anti-air artillery. Uh, yeah, we must get post-war artillery, right? Cool. First comment. Uh, that was literally the first comment I wrote down. Next time, do a soldier of Miklos Horthy? Well, I don't know about next time. There goes national legendary state. Monarchist victory in Romania. If the king is back in charge. Well, we went with this guy, so it is what it is. Uh, okay, I guess more economy. Why not? I see no problem with that. Keep building, guys. Keep building. Next up. Uh, let's see. I pronounce a lot of these Hungarian words incorrectly or very poorly. You are 100% correct, whoever left that comment. And I am not Hungarian at all in the slightest bit. So, uh, just bear with me as much as possible. Because, for the love of God. Gialog Dandar. I said I, per perfect pronunciation, I know. I know, perfect, absolutely perfect. Next up. Uh, see, in Kaiserreich, Hungary does not have a focus tree, but you might be able to get one in Kaiser Redux. Maybe playing as banana or something like that, you guys said. But, restarting the royal debate. Initially ignored by the previous administration, the question about what to do with the monarchy has been raised once again, with a new leadership. A new debate shall now be started. With Istvan being the one to decide what approach is the most appropriate, the monarchy is no more. Otto II shall lead, maintain the regency. The Second Hungarian Republic. I don't, that doesn't sound like a lot of fun. Otto shall lead, maintain the regency. The status quo of regency and vacant throne is maintained. I kind of don't mind auto, but I've, I've been playing a lot with monarchists in Austria, so 
I think I might just maintain the Regency then. I'm going to change with moderation. Okay, so the system remains unchanged. An Italian king leads Hungary. Huh. Discredit the radicals. Appeal to logic. The charismatic autocracy. Presidential decree. Isvan is the first president, and the king and the high minister. Hmm. Elections? I kind of don't want elections, though. Whoopsie. My apologies if you heard the sound. I knocked something on the ground. I want to maintain the reg regency. Hungarian idealism. With success and a smooth transition of power between father and son, Hungarians are optimistic about the town's head. Isvan Holsley is now representing this new trend of Hungarian idealism. Cool. So now we're pretty much... We can oh, we can do that one. We can't do that one. Oh, wait. He has to be the first president. Oh, he, oh you go diplomatically way. Change with moderation. Well, that's kind of... I want to do that one anyway, so... Drastic actions and reforms will only harm the Hungarian nation. Therefore, despite Isvan Horthy's character, perhaps sympathetic changes can be... On can only work best if they are under strict moderation. Our next comment. Let's see. Banat had a lot of Germans in it historically, or someone, someone said that in the comments below from the last video. Which makes sense why they own Banat today, or at least in a thousand week Reich. We got about left, a week left there, so yeah, apparently a lot of Germans down here. Uh, I kind of wish we could see, like, what is the culture down here, but that's okay. Iraqi oil nationalized. Oh no, not the oil. Next comments, let's see. Someone recommends we trot the UK labor, the Mosley, or the Queen route in the thousand week Reich. I think that's all the three different paths that we can do in thousand week Reich, which sounds like a lot of fun, so. Maybe eventually, um, the thousand week Reich, in my opinion, is not bad. It just, there's some other mods that interest me more. I'll put it like that. There's just currently some other mods that I'm a little bit more interested in more, usually in playing. And I was kind of waiting for this update to come out anyways for Thousand Week Reich patch 0 0.2, just to see what they would do with the Balkans, which I'm kind of pleased with what they did with the Balkans. Things exploded, and I like it. I like explosions. Oh, Serbian Chechnik movement. Oh, boy. Up next, let's see. When am I going to play as Yugoslavia? Probably eventually. When am I going to play as Bulgaria? Eventually. Uh, when am I going to play as Croatia? Eventually. Uh, like, uh, in time. Like, <laughs> I'm saying this in all my campaigns now. I don't have enough time to do all the different mods and nations for me to actually get to. Because people want me to play the Iron Guard or Iron Curtain mod for, like, the Hold War mod. Thousand Week Reich. TNO. Oh, look. A border conflict. Uh, even some Old World Blues from time to time. And just, like, Victory of the Dual Monarchy mod. And the Dreams of Austria, or even Yugoslavia. There's so many mods out, and I have only so much time. But anyways, discredit the radicals. Political extremists are endangering the stability of the Hungarian government. Together, Hungary must condemn their actions, and they must be discredited. Oh, land auction, nice. Very good. Wow, that's a long time away. Uh, we can do that. How about planes? Jet engines? Sure, why not? Wow, we got a lot of political power. 0.6 though, that's not much. Every day, that's not very much. Ooh, mm, mm, three percent more, man. I don't know. Fifteen percent more research speed. Why? Ah, this is the one we want to do. Yes, I love it. It only hurts us. I think that's great. And there's nothing else we can spend our political power on. Okay then. Let's see. I talked about that. Talked about that. Talked about that. What else do we have down here? Let's see. Apparently, someone said that the Romanian attack should have had some sort of no notification up here. Just so that we would be slightly prepared for it. So, obviously, as you saw from the last video, it didn't happen. So, it is what it is. But it appeals to the logic, shall we? While some are upset about the lack of real change, the few that could understand the situation shall be swayed with our words of logic. Ah, facts and logic. I love it. anti arrow actually might not be bad to grab. So, heavy SP artillery? I don't know about that one, man. I don't know. Engineering? How about industry? Yeah, I've not done much industry. Oh, it's a little bit ahead of time still. Armor? Oh, I don't ever remember what's best for... I don't remember Thousand Week Reich. I think it's... I think I normally don't choose IFVs. They're like light tanks, but better. But they're still worse than main battle tanks. So armor APCs and main battle tanks, I think, are the way for, that we're going to go down. I think that's what I normally like to do, so... Honestly, with these penalties, I, I understand why they're here. And I like that they're here. Oh, Treaty of Honolulu. Oh, that's cool. New nation enters the stage. Um, I don't want to click on this. Because I want to get through all the research and then do everything else first. And Motorized is not bad, but still. Cool, next up. Let's see. Yeah, I, I talked about Yugoslavia, Bulgaria, Croatia. No one asked for Greece, apparently. 
and Croatia. So Sturm Thurman, the current president of the United States, was a segregationist from America. What? Well, duh, he's from America. <laughs> no, he's from South America. No, he's from America. Apparently, Mr. Handsome here was from South Carolina. I never, I didn't know that, so. And the charismatic autocracy. As a dictator, the fact of bringing autocracy can be counteracted by the leader's charm. While some might desire an actual democratic system, the charismatic autocrat have allowed even more to tolerate the current state of affairs, silencing any major opposition. Very cool. Thanks for the autocracy, man. Thumbs up. The people love autocracy. Yeah. And so, and, and actually, quite a few people ask me, keep doing more Thousand Week Reich. Well, we'll see how far we get. I'd actually like to try out some other nations in the Thousand Week Reich. Obviously, the Balkans are a hot spot right now. Oh, they're always a hot spot. But um, there's a lot more interest in the Balkans and the Thousand Week Reich since they just had an update. So that's why I'm playing this as well. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Main battle tanks. We want better tanks. Oh. We got a good amount of army XP. Yeah, these guys, APCs are great. The Congo conflict, I love Africa. A second interparty government, okay. Oh, that's Ireland, huh? Okay, cool. So, and then IFVs, they have two, two armor. These guys have 0.6 more. Oh. So, if I were to replace this with... Oh, these are, oh, I, these are considered tanks. Yeah, IFVs, medium tanks, they actually are worse than, worse than stats, but I prefer the armor. Like, what's the point of using tanks without if you don't have armor? So... Uh, up next, what should we do? Oh, we have that stuff done. Oh, look at that. The Modest Autocracy. This focus ought to be pipe pass. The Hungarian dictatorship is drastically different than any other dictatorship in the world. This von Horthy advocates for the Modest Autocracy, expressing the need to enact reforms for both the survival of the regime and the people. I'm going to go back over to not here yet. I'm going to do this one because we were trying to do this one earlier. If you'd like to read about this, please go right ahead. We get more political power and more building stuff, which I do like. Total mobilization, please. Um, focus export, limited exports, but I do like the plus 5%, 10% more construction speed. Uh, let's see. It's not terrible, but... Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to lose weekly war support either, so... We got a lot of PP, but I don't want to spend it. Actually, with this one. Huh. Carrier production cost goes up. Well, that's not good. Paternal autocrats, you know, I was pushing so hard to go fascist or national daddyist, but obviously we ain't going that way. And I wonder what Prime Minister Geitzkel, what is Germany going to be up to since Kubitsch in Brazil? National socialism with goring characteristics. Okay. The fat man, huh? Uh, were we using Cass or what are we, can we even afford to use Cass? Well, we have no planes. We got 9, 10, 0, oh. I'm gonna get rid of you just because I maybe just use cast. Let's go fighters first though. Alright. Not bad. There you go. Good luck. Good luck a lot. A lot of good luck to you guys. After that, support the Agarians. Two off map civilian factories. I kinda like that. But what is over here? The Orito of Hungary. More Ooh, construction speed, railroad enthusiast. Learning from Uncle Sam, micromanagement. Uh, diplomatic decisions. I kind of like that. We could keep going down here, but I think we might wait a little bit, maybe? Not like it's super, super important to go down that way. So, a modern autocracy. What says it? Uh, okay, okay, just autocomplete. Nice. The orator of Hungary. Referring to himself as the orator, Isvan Holthi has compared Hungary to a moving locomotive. And as Hungary moves forward, Orthi and his government would maintain that the fuel supply, ensuring a swift journey towards the future. Cool. It is only 54, so good to remember that. Let's get some more defense for our guys. Yeah, holy crap, we got a lot of political power. I don't want to spend it, though. Research speed goes down, then... Hmm. That is a charming dude. Man, I wish I could be charming like that. He's 50 years old already, wow. Alright, cool. So after the altar... Actually, when's the next issue done? It'll be done in a while. Tiso signs in Slovakia, gone with an old dictator. Huh, okay. Humanity, civilian diplomacy. That's probably something we want to do. We lose a lot of war support. We get more stability, though, so that's kind of nice. Three words. Humanity, civility, diplomacy as a core tenant uh, of the Horthy administration. Hungary cannot repeat the brutal footsteps of the Nazis or other autocratic regimes, and humanity must return to the scene of politics. The Finno-German Treaty, an interesting fate or pair. Okay. Generalissimo and house arrest. That's that normal Chinese thing to do once uh, 
they lose the war, so... I would like diplomacy things. Asian proletarian front? Okay, well, that doesn't sound good for some people. We would like tanks. Actually, even just better tanks, just period. I love these guys, but goodbye. Uh, oh my goodness, what type of template is A bloodless clue in China? Very cool. Let's replace you with... Oh, actually, I kind of would prefer APCs. Motorized, since we've got them for now, right? That's like the only thing we've got, our extra APCs, so... Um, IFE's main battle tanks are really where it's at, I'll be honest. Just go with that for now. Hmm. Going to train. Oh, we're still using these old divisions. So, this division's not bad. Not great, not bad. At least make them 20 combo with or something. Single, see single receiver action, not bad. And squad systems, yes. 10%. Oh, man, 10% more defense. We should have got that one first. Well. Now we know. After this one. A home in Hungary. More manpower, effective monthly population change. Not bad. Creating the Hungarian Detroit. Is that a good thing? I guess in the 50s it is. Coup d'etat in Guatemala. Technocratic tendencies. Micromanagement. Learn from the USA. Learning from Uncle Sam. Local supplies. Found the Magyar Airlines. Well, Hungary in the 21st century. Wait, 21st century. Um... I like the research slot, but we're still literally barely in the middle of the 20th century, but learning from the USA, I guess. The USA's rise in the last century is certainly a worthy example for Hungary. We must learn from our superiors so that one day Hungary could surpass the rest of the world. Fighter 1's cool. I love Fighter 1's. How about some other stuff? Radar. That'll set us over the moon. Put us over the moon. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Align with the states. Align with Italy. Oh, so... Hmm... Italy would not be bad, especially if Germany were to attack now. Maybe we should learn from Uncle Sam first. Because they do have Greece, which is not saying much. Croatia and Italian East Africa. They're integrating Tunis, so... There's not a lot of OFN... OFN? Toronto Accord nations around us. I'm a little concerned. Especially since uh, Germany might literally attack us under the fat man. But then again, they don't have Goebbels. And Goebbels literally has the idea for... Complete and total Krieg, so... Yeah. Mm. Ooh, reading detection is done. Nice and quick. I love it. Well, how about after learning from Uncle Sam, we'll go ahead and do... Ooh, matters of state. Hungarian... Ooh, I love oh, oh, this. The affairs of the state must be handled with extreme care and caution. Oh, what if we could pull in America? We join the American faction and force them to fight the Italians. So we can take Croatia. Controlling our territory is not bad. Increase the military budget. I kind of want to do that one. Handling the refugees. I want to do matters of the state next. And it's almost 1955. Learning from Uncle Sam. Miss Von Horth remembers his time in the U.S. While it was nothing spectacular, Hungary could gain a lot by learning from the U.S. America's economic might, global status, and power is certainly admirable. And their example might be perfect for a Hungary that wishes to move forward into the future. Or perhaps it has something to do with their values, their system, or their spirit. Regardless of what Hungary could learn, it is up to us to figure out it for ourselves. Stability of the American system. We lose consumer goods, man. Seriously? Oh, America, why? So even if we join them, we would literally be just... Uh, surrounded on all sides. Uh, does anyone else want to join the OF... I keep saying the OFN. The Toronto Accords? I don't think we're going to have anyone who wants to help us out. The only thing I could think of is... If Bulgaria or even Romania joins. They are the pressure of the Balkans, so... These guys... Rome. Oh, Norilsk, huh. The Royal Dictatorship. Mutating power? Stepping back. Huh. Maybe the king can deal with the Legion. Glory to the king, of course. So, what does that mean now? Like, do we know which way they're going to go? Matters of the state. Alright, let's go ahead and do control our territories, increase the military budget. Has lost the... F Wait, what? Okay. Nullify the treaty. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Controlling our territories, I suppose. Uh, regardless of our ideology, territories of Hungary must be stabilized. Alright, we get 250 support equipment. And two places get resistance, dragon, growth speed. Okay, is that it? Oof. Promote Catholicism. Alright. And UK is invading Iraq. What else is new? Yeah, uh, you know what I like? Switzerland's gone. I like that a lot. 
Where's Catholicism under this? Catholicism. Hello. There you are. Pacify the tribes. Uh, what tribes? Do they mean like African tribes or? Okay. Yeah, this is Africa. Okay, that's good. Do they have anything about Hungary? A line hungry. The, Ro the Roman dream. What the heck? All right, controlling your territories is nice. How about we do go, go, go with computing? Maybe we could like more research speed, probably. Professionals are experts in the matters that simple bureaucrats cannot handle. By employing more specific experts in the government, a technocratic environment could be fostered. Now we have a fourth one here, huh? No, and provinces of peace improve work. Ah, uh, we well, have so much stability already, though, man. We can convert these guys over immediately. After this one, I we might as well just try to beeline for uh, this one, even though a path to recovery. Oh, we got bad words. Just a bunch of bad words. Uh, I don't know sure who to join. We'll see what happens if anyone wants to beat us up. But motorized equipment. Oh, more everything has cost more. Why? Why do things have to cost things? Let's get this one. Importing industrial equipment from advanced nations would greatly improve Hungary's industrial capabilities, which would be a very nice... Hey! Polio vaccine declared safe! A true victory for all of humanity. As much as I do want that extra research slot, we gotta go down all the way here first before we get down there. Kingdom of Montenegro refounded. Um... Alright. That's kinda cool. Hopefully we have more warfare after this eventually. Oh, they're nice and white. But they're called Montenegro, led by Marija of the First. Wow. Oh, they're an Italian puppet. Oh, okay, that makes sense, I guess. Hmm. I don't know who to join. Why would I do this? Why would I click on that? Ooh, the daily change for us is going down still, huh? Well, let's choose this one, because we can. Very nice. All right, everyone, so it's about August 13th now, 1955. And even though I'm looking at the military equipment contractor, which I'm probably not going to do yet, we've already begun doing urbanization projects. So, an increasing population signifies a nation's dire need of urbanization projects, projects that could expand Hungary's economic power base, we get more stability, two building slots in northern Hungary, and 50,000 more manpower, which is nice, and then we'll do Hungarian Steelworks next. Steel is an important strategic resource. The expansion of the Hungarian steel industry would greatly increase Hungary's standing... Excuse me. Greatly increase Hungary's standing within the region as an independent nation, which is pretty good. Now, we're going to go ahead and grab this synthetic resource or synthetic oil experiments because, well, we've got to put these guys on here first. We have a focus here that has open new refineries, which means we need synthetic oil experiments. So it's good to know that you have to grab synthetic oil experiments before you actually choose this one because right now we're trying to beeline and get, an, oh, there's another research slot. We can get five research slots? You learn something new every time you play TWR, a thousand week wreck, apparently. Oh, there goes Iraq. Oh, UK, never change. And they'll do Path to Recovery, which remove Hungarian stagnation, which is actually probably really, really good to get rid of as well. So, that looks honestly not that bad. It could be a lot worse. If you get rid of that, you get more factory output, more cap, consumer goods goes back to us, which is actually probably really, really good. Even though we get Hungarian Recovery for 180 days, which basically means we have lowered effects from Hungarian stagnation, but eventually that goes away as well. But next up after this, we are going to expand the mines. Just So at this point, we're just going to go down this entire tree. We'll handle the refugees eventually, maybe. Um, and then we'll do the recovery, and then we'll do the Hungar Hungary in the 20th or 21st century. So, expand the mines. The extraction of raw resources is vital for any nation. Surrounded by unfavorable neighbors, Hungary must establish a surplus. A surplus that could be made by expanding Hungary's precious mines. In the meantime, though, we are still continuing to expand on our civilian factories here, which I think it'd be a really good idea to at least get 15 out of 15 at some point, which I think is probably what we're rooting and shooting for. So after this one, we shall do open new refineries once that is done, which I don't think we'll be able to get done in time. That's quite a few days. So what we're going to do is this one eventually. So petroleum is the lifeline of a nation, both as a citizenry and the military depend on its access. Therefore, the construction of additional refineries would greatly benefit the nation's economy. Great idea. Totally enjoy it. Totally love it. We could continue doing this. Uh, combined operations would actually be very good to do as well. But we probably need to come over here eventually. Oh, Hungarian micromanagement in which we lose political power. 
Well, we already don't have that much to begin with, especially with German economic influence and authoritarian system. Maybe home in Hungary? Well, we like building a lot of babies in a new city, huh? Let's make some more babies, shall we? Refugees fleeing the horrors of European regimes shall find their new home in Hungary. We must show the world that we are better than these monsters. These monsters? You mean those monsters? I think those monsters. And now it's April 9th, 1956, in which we're doing creating the Hungarian Detroit. Isvan Horthy's years in the U.S. were spent in the American city of Detroit. In his image, the industrial city is a wonder, a wonder that also belongs to his beloved Hungary, in which, right now, the Kingdom of Yugoslavia has formed, but... Tonto Court Advisors? Huh, interesting, okay. A new city, huh? Cool, so much like the, the Detroit, from the leader's memories, Hungary needs an industrial city. With new gain knowledge on urban planning, a city specifically designed for industrial purposes is possible. With resources and time, Istvan Horthy and his government has his designated Duna Pentel as a site for the future industrial city. We will be successful. Cool. These guys are killing each other. They want to take each other over. And we shall next do compensation for fellow veterans. Well, now we shall go ahead and do new open new refineries. Petroleum is the lifeline of a nation as both the citizenry and the military depend on its access. Therefore, the construction of additional refineries would greatly benefit the nation's economy. Very nice. More military factories. Don't mind if we do. We do need quite a few more basic anti-tank firearms and weaponry. So earlier we unlocked the decision to have expansion, in, you see. But unfortunately, we don't own Transylvania, so we can't do anything about that. Or Banat. Or Crisania. Or West Banat. Or Upper Hungary, even. Wait, Northern Urals. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. Northern... Um, technically, we can core that, apparently, at the same time as Western Slovakia. Um, Eastern Slovakia. There's Western Slovakia, but, uh... Um... Northern Urals and Western Slovakia. Invade German Banat would be nice. Wait, it says invade them. Wait, so we have to own Banat... To... Go to war with SS Odenstadt Banat. Okay, establish control in Vojvodina. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's not a core of ours, but at the same time, we need to own Yarkand. And for those of you wondering, Yarkand is all the way down here in Asia. This is Yarkand. I don't think we can take Yarkand for that. So we can make that a core, so we can core Vojvodina. And we have a final war here. Declares war on the Kingdom of Romania. We need to complete the focus war to the death. And all the following must be true. F complete reclaiming national sovereignty, honor the legacy of Bela Kun, uh, and complete a focus nullify the treaty. But I guess in the meantime, let's designate some industrial zones. We get two more building slots and two more victory points, okay. Expand housing districts, and that lasts for how long? For 100 days. Uh, housing districts, uh, monthly population, sure, and then incentives for a heavy industry, lose political power, more consumer goods, and get to military factories, so we might as well get that done now. I still haven't aligned with the states or Italy, so maybe I'll just leave it up to you guys, maybe, unless we get attacked. If we get attacked, I'm probably just going to join Italy, maybe, just because they're looking, they look like they can help us out the most right now, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I, I, I really don't know. I'm not really sure what else to do about this. I mean, in the meantime, I'm just cutting down the deficit of stuff. We have enough guns, which is nice. And to make sure we made everyone, or all of our infantry, this combat with, or, you know, whatever. Uh, support equipment's not very good. Light tanks, I stopped producing those. We're out of tanks, we're out of planes, we're out of artillery, we're out of anti-tank. I'm not feeling super good about this, but hey, we have refineries coming along, so... And we do have refugees, but... Eh, you know, let me know in the comments below. Should we have minimal shelter with refugees, or should we do... Utilize the refugees. I'm fine with either one. We can use them or abuse them or shelter them. So it is what it is. Stop the refugees. Well, we can't do that one. So Hungarian highway, shall we? To improve the logistics of Hungary, a series of highways should be constructed around the nation. This would bring economic opportunities to remote regions of Hungary. Not a bad idea. And also, I did already choose war propaganda, so that's how we're getting a little bit more war support, which will be very, very nice. Oh, goes the Soviet Republic of the Ukraine. Goodbye. I'm liking how big Germany's getting. That's kind of nice. Not gonna lie. And research-wise, we're doing mass production one instead of batch production. We're also doing uh, some military construction too for that eventually. Maogan papers, a crisis between former allies. Very cool. Uh, yeah. So, oh, they have that's a core. I need to play as Yugoslavia someday. That sounds like fun. Crown companies. Yeah, there's probably one of the probably more fun routes to play as. So, 
Oh, yes, please. Please try to fight us. Please do try that. Can you come, come fight me? Please come kill me. Please come try to kill me. I swear to God, please try it. And they will try it eventually. So, Hungarian Highways. Uh, to prove logistics. If I already read this, I think I already did. Now, opportunities remote. Yeah, regions of... I'll be honest, I can't remember what I've read anymore, so... Expand the industrial institutions. A new generation of skilled workers must be trained to staff Hungary's most advanced industries. By funding an expansion of these institutions, this would put or plant the seeds of a future harvest. Chinese-American Cold War, former allies turn against one another. Cool. And get another research slot, so... Honestly, there's not really much here. We're really trying to make our Detroit here, so... We're making a city that in, like, 70 years will be, like, really destitute, but okay. Fine with me. But okay, so if that's the case, I'm going to go ahead and prepare ourselves right here. Uh, you guys are not bad. They might have anti-tank. Do they have anti-tank in their horse divisions? No. And their mountaineers, do they have anti-tank? No. And those guys, they probably don't either. So, infantry, they're okay on defense. Uh, they do have engineers, so that's actually pretty darn nice. Just in case, I'm just going to throw all, all you guys down here. I hope the Romanians don't have another focus in the focus tree so they go to war with us. Because we can't manually justify it's like TNO now, where game, war goals can only be gained from national focuses, events, and decisions. So, we'll see what happens. Um, what about Hungary? Reverse the Vienna Awards. Following the death of Hitler, we already went there once. And the next one, reintegrate Transylvania. Um, well, I, I don't have Trans... I want Transylvania, but I'm not allowed to get it. So, Altai's gone. Nah. That's that's my only response is, yeah, I'm not sure what else to say. Extraction would be nice. We can't do any of this stuff, so that's a little bit ahead of time. Engineering? Air accidents chance? <laughs> Nuclear stuff? Missile technology? That might not be bad. Chemical weaponry? Biological stuff? That actually hurts our research speed, so... No? Uh, more range? Sure, why not? And anything for guns? Yes. Let's keep working on our guns, because I think that would probably be a really good thing to do. It is 56, and we're about to make one else, another civilian factory, on my birthday. July 28th. Nice. Red Army is gone. It seems like a lot more fun to play as Germany right now. Auslan looks great. Hinrik Losa. Uh, I gotta play as Auslan so many different times. Ukraine looking pretty nice, too. Raw material demands. From the ashes, not bad. They have the Greater German Reich over here under Daddy Goring. Does he have anything about Hungary in his focus tree? I hope not. Hungary. Okay, he doesn't. So he's not going to come fight us, hopefully. Who knows? He might manually. Yeah, actually, you can't manually just fight, so that's okay then. Uh, how is Burgundy doing then? Well, SS Oldenshaw. Not very good, I see. Huh. Nice. More factories? Yes, please. For the love of God, please. <laughs> please, 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 please. Alright, and I will trade away one thing here for this. Republic of India? Sure. Why not? Follow it up with Novo Sibirsk is gone. With a path to recovery. Nice. After a large number of actions taken by the government, the stagnation is ending and Hungary has entered the stage of eventual recovery. Well, everyone, now Earl Warren has been inaugurated as the President of the United States. Currently, we're doing the Artipod line. Just because we could use probably some defenses just in case. The Arpod line was one of the most important and useful features of our national defense program and is remembered as a trick up our sleeve in case of invasion from the east. The assembly's report is much more sobering, however. Our line of defenses has become outdated and will only become more useless as the wheels of modernization continue to deter. Our line is extremely lacking in anti-tank defenses and cronyism has led to the posting at the fort becoming less of an honor and more of a vacation for those with friends in high places. We must expel the incompetent among the enlisted and the officers and outfit companies with new weapons. Actually, maybe we should have waited because I just wanted to get the decisions just because eventually these guys will come attack us sometime. So, in the meantime, I would like to continue doing this stuff, but... Hmm. I like the mobility school, but it just takes so long to get down there, you know? I'd like to finish this stuff up first, but, you know what, screw it, we're going to go this way. Quality, quantity over quantity, quantity over quantity... Uh, I think I already read this. If you'd like to read this, go out right ahead. Motor equipment production, not bad. Infantry equipment, it's just really not that bad either. So, also, uh, Bo Yugoslavia and Bulgaria are killing each other. Now, Yugoslavia declared war on them, but... Bulgaria just kept attacking and attacking and attacking. I mean, my gosh, they murdered so many of their own boys for nothing. Look at that. They kept attacking for literally no reason. I, I even sent an attaché because we have so much political power, but still. 
The Kluge Line? You can only invest in the line during peacetime. Northern Transylvania. Yeah, if when whenever if you start if you play Hungry yourself, I actually might recommend, like, if you can, go down to this one as fast as you possibly can, probably. Because the Budapest Defense Pocket. Uh Transdanubia, Vojvodina, uh, let's do this one first. Just because we lose support equipment, but uh Vojvodina could probably use, release those forts. As well as Alfeld and Northern Hungary. And we have to wait to it? Oh, we can, we can only do one at a time? Oh, man. Man. That, that kind of sucks. But, you know what? I guess I'll leave it up to you guys, maybe. Unless we have an emergency. Even though we saw that Germany's not going to attack us. Should we do ally with the states or align with Italy? Because I'm kind of okay with either one. Like, I, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, it is 57, so we can't get this stuff. We've been trying to improve ourselves quite a bit, which we have been, which is actually really, really nice. Mountaineers would actually be probably pretty smart to grab. Let's grab some better entrenchment, just because I am awaiting an attack from the Yugoslavians, so they will attack us eventually. Why is Bulgaria so weak? Bulgaria. Shame on you. Absolutely shame on you. Look at that. We're still getting some army XP from daily exercises, but mostly from our attaché and the Tsarim of Bulgaria, giving us 20% of their military experience. Nice. This is so sad. This is just so sad. I'm glad we can see what's happening here, but this is just so pathetic. Look at that. Look how weak they are. Why? Why? Bulgaria? They even lost Sophia. I mean, come on, man. So after quality over quantity, we'll do mobility school. Cool. If we're going to follow through with our quality and speed-based warfare investments, we must go all the way in fast and mobile warfare that will leave our enemies' heads spinning. APCs, IFEs, Jeeps, and trucks will all become a central part of our doctrines, and we will make the best use of these vehicles we can in combat, hopefully. As we're slowly watching just Bulgaria just get their butt touched. And not in a good way, man. Like, this is not cool. And we're still losing paternal autocracy. I'm not sure why... That's nice. Let's grab some... Actually, let's grab some of this. We're actually using APCs. I've been slowly editing some of our divisions here, including our main medium tank division. So we're using a lot more APCs. It gives us a good amount of armor, actually, which is actually quite reassuring. Now, in this one, it looks like we can go motorized recon, which actually might not be bad. We've got a lot of that. That actually hurts our recon, though, huh? Nice. Uh... So if we were to do this, we would gain more defense, less recon, more fuel usage, more reliability. Huh. Eh, it's not really worth doing it then. More fuel capacity. Well, actually, fuel capacity. Actually, that's not bad for fuel capacity and more defense. You lose slightly more recon, but whatever. I don't care. Let's use mobility schools. Nice. And after that one, we will probably go ahead and... Ch well, I want to see these guys die first. We'll probably go ahead and choose this stuff. Speed, division attack, attack, attack. Max planning speed. This stuff is okay. It's not great. It's just okay. We'll probably do compensation for fellow veterans. Authoritarian drift. Currently, what are we? Paternal autocrats. Authoritarian drift. Fascist. National daddyist. Authoritarian drift seems like the way we probably want to go then. So, go to that one next. Compensation for fellow veterans. As a pilot during the Soviet War, Istvan Horthy understands the struggles of his fellow veterans, providing them with greater co compensations. Hopefully, this could ease the pain of our former soldiers. We lose some political power, which we don't care about. We lose consumer goods, we get more authoritarian drift, which is... It is what it is. I'm not sure what else to say about it. This is incredibly sad. The pressure of the Balkans is no more. Uh, in the meantime, let's go and build up here again. I, I, I just wanted to make sure we keep building a big enough industry so we can, you know, do things. <laughs> After, the, after this set of civilian factories, I think I'll just go to military factories and... Oh, sh bad words! Holy bad words! They just were completely annexed. Okay, that's a little better, but... Jesus Christ! Holy crap, I'm just like... They just completely all die. Wow. Wow. Uh, that's a little bit ahead of time. We got some of that going. Let's grab some... Recon? We already have some recon on our guys, so that's not too bad. Better motorized, I guess? Hardness is 10%, 18 speed. These guys have 5 hardness, so we like it harder. And depression, wall. Alfeld. Yeah, Alfeld's probably good. Tiza. We'll probably do Tiza line next. Uh, good. More infantry is good. Now, I'm, I'm actually quite interested in playing Yugoslavian. Uh oh, look at that. Now, that's weird. We don't get a notification at the top of our screen. I'm glad I looked at Yugoslavia. But why don't we get a notification at the top of our screen about them wanting to hurt us? I don't understand that. At the same time, signal companies probably just because I believe our infantry... Yep, they do use signal companies, so that's good to know. 
and entrenchment is currently seven so that is very weird that we do not get any sort of thing so i hope the devs are watching i really do just to see if there's any bugs to see if anything uh, else has happened that they need to know so that's good hopefully that they're watching compensation after that we'll probably go ahead and read micromanagement all aspects of the nation must be handled thoroughly while this ideology might be more labor intensive for the government this doctrine would surely be beneficial to the people in which we lose 15 percent political power give more efficiency cap and get more or less lack of resources penalty and five percent more stability which doesn't really mean much to me at all i'll be honest with you all right so hopefully we can win here i mean our guys i mean they're hopefully quite dug in our guys are 20 combat with we got hungarian recovery gone huh we got plenty of guns anti-tank is looking good we got apcs We've got loads of trucks just waiting, sitting in the stockpile. So, and if, if our infantry get attacked, I mean, they're 20 combat with. They're looking pretty awesome as well. So, I'm not too worried about it. I would like a spot more artillery, though, to really give our guys that extra punch. Even though it's, it's 40 guys, so that's pretty good. Uh, please don't lose. Please tell me you, got, you have no tanks in there. Now, we are defending over a river, which is nice. Bella Miklos. We should be able to win this one. I'd be very surprised if we weren't because usually infantry aren't very good at attacking and our guys are actually pretty halfway decent but they do have artillery that does hurt us quite a bit so another division yes please yes, yes, yes please come on please don't lose please don't lose come on come on win 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 come on Ah, Serbian border war failure. The dispatch signed by Minister of War of Serbia reached the Hungarian administration, which had a meeting to discuss its contents. The Hungarian president convened this meeting, mostly inviting military people because they understood the matter best and could give the safest answer. President, I have an idea. Here you go, General, the president said, giving the floor to the already mentioned general. I thought like this. Like this? I thought we would accept the Serbian proposal, but at a time when they think it is safe to carry out an attack. I think it's just a bad idea. We're just going to be bringing evil on us. It was just a suggestion. I think we'll continue with the first part of your idea. A truce? A truce. And so it would be. Man, that is some... I don't know. That It needs to be spaced out more so we can see the differences in like dialogue, I think. That's just my opinion, though. Just maybe just my opinion. Think of Black Force. This just shows our dominance. I mean, what else am I going to do here? We'll take it by full force then, maybe? Because uh -uh. I can... We can hopefully just blitz over here. I mean, have we been improving our planes at all? No. <laughs> oh, no. That hurts. Wait. Can I... Okay, this is... I think this is bugged as well. So, um... Or maybe maybe it's just because it doesn't have planes. That's probably that's probably why. That's probably why. So we go to war. We can probably bait them into attacking us some more. We got some auto saving, which is nice. Anything else? Can I change cabinet members? Maybe. Oh yeah, we can. Okay, okay, okay. This guy's actually pretty good. Let's see. This guy's not too bad. Trade deal, authoritarian staffer, land for construction speed, decryptions not necessarily bad. Conservative, conservative. Liberal? No, that's pretty much it. Okay. All right. How about we get some assault concentration? I could we actually win here? I have a good feeling we might not actually be able to win then. If we can, that'd be great. Thumbs up for me. But please don't lose. <laughs> actually, is there anything we can do here to improve our guys? Mobile tank. Uh, more research speed. That's not bad. Speed. Yeah, we can go for more speed. Why not? If they don't want to move, I I'm totally okay with that. I'm totally okay. Micromanagement, though, everyone. Micromanagement. All right. Oh, crap. we got to fight the Bulgarians now, too. Oh, that's not good. Uh, keep you there, then. Nice. Um, I don't want to attack. Let them just kind of hang out for now. And please do not move. Please do not move. If that's, I do not want to attack over the river. Uh, this sucks. I'm going to separate you guys. You guys do this. There you go. There you go. Let them come in. Let them attack us a whole bunch. Now, hopefully taking these guys. Oh, that's not good. Wow, 10 divisions right there. Holy crud. You got to hold, man. You got to hold. Yeah, you gotta hold. You gotta hold me in your arms. There you go. Oh, that's not good either. Oh yeah, get them get them boys over there. That's nice. 
Are they? They're doing force attack, aren't they? Yeah, look at that. Their organization is not dropping. Look at their strength. Holy bad words. I just realized that. Holy bad words. I mean, do we have logistic companies on our tanks or something yet? Or no, we have maintenance. So maybe we improve maintenance, shall we? Oh, we don't. We have maintenance, but not even. Ma I'm not making sense of this. All right. So how many? How, uh, 40, 42,000, not bad, that's pretty darn good. Rebuild the Royal Air Force, they are mobilized to extensive conscription. Romania has, how many? A million men on, Jesus Christ, Romania. I mean, I guess you did lose the war, but still. Uh, anything else? Ooh, war bonds, yes, let's actually do war bonds, that's actually really nice. Industrial corporations, anything else? Order, oh, weapon sales, what better way to cheap and quick boost our military situation than to buy forward arms? Okay, Japan. I love the Japanese. And the reason why I'm not attacking yet is because I want these guys to get really, really weak first. And we might actually be able to bait the enemies into attacking, especially here. They refuse a deal. The Japanese defense officials have refused a purchase proposal. I hate the Japanese now. The Japanese are no longer my best friends. Can we do it again? God dang it, maybe not. Okay. Okay, I've learned my lesson. Transvolga, huh? Could y'all, like, just both of you do that? Actually, have all you guys help them out. Because I'd like to attack down here quickly or wherever we can. 64. Nice. Nice. All right. Not bad. Pretty good, I'd say, so far. Nice. So, at this point, we're going to put you on the front lines. Now, these guys, I don't think they have a lot of guns left. Um, Rebuild the efforts. they got plenty of manpower, as we can see. Logistics, might as well. Flamethrowers, nice. Uh, military police. Oh, let's grab the first one for flamethrowers. Flammenwerfer. Stockpile. They're not looking too good on artillery. Or at least on infantry equipment, at least. Alright, another tank. I love it. Alright, let's move you guys off. And I'm probably just going to attack Belgrade, maybe? Do they have any forts there? No, they don't. So if we're going to have to attack over a river, obviously we're going to attack the area that is probably the weakest part of the line. So, Yeah. Let's get that other tank in here too. Three, two, maybe one? Yeah, that's looking pretty weak. Come on, come on, move. There you go. Can we actually win over here? That'd be really cool if we could. Let's just stay, straight up take Belgrade. I'm, I'm just getting so used to looking at their organization because the AI loves, at least in my campaigns, doing last stand all the time. And they can sort of pierce us, you know, that's okay. We're, our, our, a lot of our armor is just not looking good. Look at this, it's just dropping. Oh, it's painful to look at. Oh, they threw in some of their own armor as well, I see. What if we threw these guys in too? Come on, break those tanks. Force it, force it, force it. That's probably a really bad idea. Force attack and last stand at the same time is probably a really bad... Come on, oh, we got it. Beautiful, my friends. Awesome. All right. Well, not bad. Micromanagement. At least we're getting some... I love that we're getting some sort of conflict. Finally. Isvan Horthy's grand ambition is to connect the whole of Hungary. Every city, town, and village shall eventually be linked to a nation, national grid of transportation and communication. We've done it, my friends. Immediately move on in. Uh, I'll take both of you guys going here, too. That's fine. There you go. Help support the attack. Not bad. Three more divisions, go bye bye. Pretty good. I think up next we're gonna go here to here and go wee. All right, so we've lost sixteen thousand. Not bad. We've killed over one hundred thirty-seven thousand of them. I'm feeling pretty good about this one. This is going a lot better than their war against Romania. I'll be honest. Like, first want to say I think this is going better than the one against Romania, but maybe that's just me. I'd love to order more convoys, but the Japanese don't love us. Meh. Alright. Why don't the Japanese love their Hungarian brethren? We're almost the exact same people. There you go. Beautiful. Just move on in. Make sure these guys can't move. So we can win faster. Thank you. And three more divisions encircled. Nice. Congo Rebellion crushed. Oh, goodbye. Nice. At this point, I don't think they can really do too much against us, so... 
We're gonna go boom and then boom and then we'll win the war there and then. There you go, you can have that guy. Led by Bella Miklos, anti German proponent? Sure. Anything about stuff? No? Okay. I'm just here to beat him up at this point. Nice. Just go ahead, everyone. You might not win there, but that's fine. You guys, just head on down here if you can, or whatever. Oh, is it capital all the way? Nice. Oh, it's Nice. Okay. So, I'm assuming like 30,000 casualties in total. We've killed off a lot of enemies. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, wait, hold on, what? hold on, hold on. What? I didn't want that. Uh, tease the line, might as well, cool. Establish control must be not. Now we can finally do something with our political power. Finally. Oh, that feels good. At this point, I need to pull you guys out because you need your own little group here. And promote somebody? Sure. The infantry are more for defensive purposes. Um, I still don't trust the those, those Romanian guys, so... Sorry, Romanians. It is what it is. You've earned that reputation, though, so I'm not even sorry about it. Uh, I'll put you guys back on the board against the Yugoslavians or the Serbs. Now, they, that's looking kind of ugly, but hey, they deserve it after they lost that, so... Uh, other than that, we hopefully got some more anti-tank. We got artillery's not bad. Guns are looking not bad. We got one thing, literally one mechanized unit thingy. APC's not too bad. I, that was very successful. Did we not get any sort of event? Like, that, we, we we did great there. Like, nothing? Found the Magyar Airlines. While well, some companies might have some, came close to being the face of Hungarian aviation, a nationally owned Magyar Airlines is the only capable corporation to fill the role. Nice. I, I, is, is there nothing about winning the war? I mean, that's important, right? Winning wars are, is important sometimes, right? No? Oh. I hope I'm wrong and that we don't have... That we do have something? I hope I hope we do have something. I, I, I want to... No congratulations or anything like that? Nothing? We lost a couple guys, and we'll probably have to raise a conscription level eventually. But... I'm a little disappointed. We heard our PP already, but... Actually, hold on. We got that one thing from War Compensations, Authoritarian Drift. Okay, so this one helps us out a little bit. Okay, that's cool. Maintenance 1, I guess we'll go for Maintenance 2, since we're already technically using it. Um, I like this one. We all own Best, best Spin Out, but now we don't have PP to spend. So then, oh wait, so we do get a quarter of the Northern Urals. And Western Slovakia. But we don't own that. Anyway, we can go to war for Slovakia. It's almost 1950. Oh, nice flag. 1958. It's kind of cool. Um, no? They got a lot of national spirits, so that's kind of cool. Do they have a unique focus tree? Oh, they do! Oh, my... You know, the devs are doing, I think, a pretty interesting, good job so far. Just giving a lot of different nations flavor, and I love that a lot. I love it. I guess we'll do one more focus after this, and that's the one with the Hungary in the 21st century, you know? Hungary's position belongs to the future. As a modern nation, the 21st century shall be known as the Hungarian century, even though it's almost only 1958. So we've got like another 40-some years left in this century, so... Uh, I guess the Hungarians are looking very, 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 very far into the future. So far that I might be questioning why they're looking that far into the future, but with us defeating the Yugoslavians, uh, I'm not really sure what else to say, so... The, okay, we get an event about the airlines, but not an event about us taking or defeating the Yugoslavians. Okay. Like many other major countries of the world, Hungary deserves her own very flag carrier. Is von Horthy has diverted some funds from the former Magyar Airlines, a national airline that aims to become the Lufthansa of Southern Europe one day. Many experienced pilots of the Hungarian Air Force were invited to become supervisors, and the newly established national company purchased quality airliners from the Toronto Accord, a national symbol of Hungarian progress. Nice. Cool. At least we got Magyar Airlines for air transport equipment agility and agility. Wait, agility and agility. We get double agility. But regardless, I think that's going to be it for me in this episode. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, like as I say at the end of every episode. Thanks for watching, though, and have a great Hungarian rest of your day.